Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. I do lots of cooking videos and I do grocery hauls. Today I'm going to show you how to make cake mix cookies two ways. Now I have lots of other ways that I've made cake mix cookies so I'll link them down below in the description box. The first one that I'm doing today involves these little gems. Coconut almonds with dark chocolate. Really? Alright, so I was shopping at Costco and I ran into these. A lady was doing some samplings of these and got me. You know why? Because these taste like Almond Joys. If you like Almond Joys, these are for you, let me tell you. So I was like, I'm going to turn these into cookies. So we're going to see how that's going to turn around. Now the second cookie that I'm going to be doing today involves these little gems, peanut M&Ms. I've been thinking about making M&M cookies for a while, and I don't know, I just wasn't inspired enough, I guess, but I wanted to go and see if they had peanut M&M's because I was like, oh my gosh, peanuts and M&M's in a cookie. All right, you can't beat it. So, y'all, let's put these yummy ingredients into some cake mix and make some cookies. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, let's go over the ingredients we're going to need to make our Almond Joy cake mix cookie. I've got one box of dark chocolate cake mix. Now this is about a 15.25 ounce size. I've got half a cup of oil. You can use vegetable or canola oil. Two eggs. Alright, and then I've got two cups of these coconut almonds with dark chocolate right here. Now they look like this and I'll be cutting these into fours so they're easier to mix into the cookies. Now if you don't have these or you can't find this package right here you can certainly use coconut shreds, some chocolate morsels, and sliced almonds and you can mix them up and then get about two cups worth of that and then you can make your Almond Joy cookies. Alright y'all let's get started. Okay now as you can see there's an almond sliver inside with some coconut and then it's wrapped up all in some dark chocolate and that's what we're looking for right there so if you can find these you just want to get them and then just cut them into quarters so they're easier to manage and to eat inside your cookie all right so I'm going to finish these off and then we'll be right back all right, we're going to go ahead and start building our cookies here. Now, I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I've got a medium-sized bowl here. I'm going to take my cake mix out. There's so many different things you can do with cake mixes. The main thing I like to do, cake mix cookies, poke cakes. Comment down below what you like to use cake mixes for besides just a regular cake mix. All right, so we've got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead now and add my oil, and it was half a cup, two eggs. All right, now I'm just gonna use a regular wooden spoon, and I'm just going to mix this all together first before we add our addition. All right, now I'm using a dark chocolate because my chocolate covered coconut almonds are dark chocolate, all right? Now, if you're gonna use like morsels or chocolate chips and you're using a semi-sweet or you're using milk chocolate, then you can certainly change your cake mix to dark chocolate. I mean, um, you can certainly change your cake mix to like milk chocolate or just a regular chocolate cake. All right, but I'm gonna try to keep the flavors the same. Okay. Dig deep, y'all. Make sure you get everything down below on the bottom of your bowl down there. There we go. We're going to go ahead now, and I'm going to add. Now, these are two cups, so if you're using just the regular coconut flakes, chocolate chips, and almond slivers, just make sure that you have about two cups worth mixed together. In they go. Oop. Stuck one. 
and then just carefully mix it in. Smells delicious. <laughs> mm. There wasn't eggs in there. I don't know. There might not be any cookies to make. <laughs> Just a big empty bowl and a licked spoon. All right, let's go get our pan ready. Okay, so now I have my baking sheet ready with some parchment paper. I'm using a one inch scoop here and what I'm going to do is just Go like that. Now this is going to get a little messy, but make sure you have clean hands. I'm going to drop it into my hand, roll it into a ball, and then place it onto my parchment paper. Now we're going to give these just a little space to grow, all right, so give them some space. All right, I've got my cookies all ready to go into my preheated oven at 350 degrees. We're going to put them in for about seven to nine minutes until they are completely done. And then we're going to cool them on a rack and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, y'all. Can you see these cookies? I'm ready to dive in. They smell so delicious. I'm telling you, it smells like an almond joy. Let me grab a cookie here and I'm going to try one for you. Okay, here we go. Can y'all see that? There we go. Mm-mm-mm. You see the little coconut and the almonds? Yes. All right. All right. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and a bit a little chewy right there. Okay. Mmm. It tastes like an almond joy. If you like coconut, chocolate, and almonds, this is the cookie for you. All right, y'all. So this batch made about 28 to 30 cookies using the one-inch cookie scoop. All right, kind of give you an idea. And these, let me tell you, right here, perfect size cookie. All right, I'm ready to start making my second cookie, which is the peanut M&M's cake mix cookie. All right, y'all, four ingredients to make these peanut M&M cake mix cookies. I have one box of yellow cake mix. Now, you can use a vanilla cake mix if you'd like or a white cake mix if you'd like, okay? You can go either way. I've got six tablespoons of semi-melted butter. I've got two eggs and two cups of peanut M&Ms. All right, well, let's start making these cookies. All right, y'all, the first thing we're going to do, if you are using the peanut M&Ms, is we're going to go ahead and put them into a Ziploc bag carefully. Zip it up good. Now, here's where you can have a little fun, all right? <laughs> I've got my rolling pin here and I'm just going to bash these up. I don't want to break them up too tiny, all right? I want, I want them to have some texture to them. All right, so we've got our oven preheating at 350 degrees. We're going to go ahead now and add our cake mix into our just medium-sized bowl. If you haven't seen my other cake mix cookies, I'll link them down below in my description box. There's a lot of them that I have, so different varieties if you want to try them. What I'm going to do is just take my wooden spoon here and just kind of make sure there's no big lumps in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my two eggs and my six tablespoons of semi-melted butter. Pour that in. Go ahead and give that a nice mix with your wooden spoon. I like to break up my yolks. All right, and then carefully stir it. All right, it's going to look like that right there. We're going to go ahead now and add our peanut M&Ms that we crushed. Mm. Can you find the dough? It's in there. <laughs> now just carefully, just kind of give this a mix.
Make sure you get it all in there. We want all those peanut M&M pieces to be in the dough, all right? Oh my goodness, there we go. Without over mixing it, that's what we have right there. All right, y'all, so my oven's preheating at 350 degrees. I'm using a one inch cookie scoop, and I also have my cookie sheet lined with some parchment paper. And we're going to even out our cookie dough here with our scoop and place them on our pan here. We're going to leave a little bit of space in between each cookie dough. Alright, so using a measuring cup, just a flat surface on the bottom there, I'm just going to smash them just a little bit to about half of an inch, just like that. Perfect. My cookies are ready to go into the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 8 to 9 minutes. I'll be back as soon as we cool these off on a cooling rack. Alright y'all, I got my peanut M&M cake mix cookies are done. They smell delicious. Yo, know, it's almost like a peanut butter M&M cookie. I think it's a mashup, right? All right, let me dive into one of these for you so you can see what they look like and I'm going to tell you what they taste like. All right, there are so many of them to choose from. They are so pretty, y'all. You can see all the little colors in there from the M&Ms. Look at the back side of it. Nice and pretty. All right. Oh yeah. Nice and crispy on the, the outside and it's Nice and soft on the inside. Oh, look at all those colors. All right, let's taste it. Mmm. You know you're going to taste peanut butter. <laughs> those peanuts in there. Mmm. Okay. That is really good. Okay, what's your favorite? Almond Joy or Peanut M&M's? Cake mix cookies. Let me know down below what is your favorite, which one you want to make. I know what my favorite is, the Almond Joy. My husband's favorite, peanut M&Ms. All right, y'all, thank you so much for coming to my show today. I've got several of them over here on this side that you know you can watch if you'd like to. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when all of my shows are posted like this one here. All right, y'all, I will see you on the next episode.